Just yet, just. Oh my girlfriends call it very ugly lah. They, they think it's very ugly. They always laugh at me when I wear it, but I love it. They'll definitely find a future hole. So I just got a question on Instagram whether I can recommend my therapist. The answer is no, due to various reasons. Firstly, my therapist's office is a space where I don't want it to be potentially an environment where I will bump into people that I don't know but kind of know who I am because I want to step into the office like calm and not worrying about these kind of things. I want to step into the office feeling safe that, you know, I'm here um, to talk to someone. I want to make it my safe environment. And also, secondly, Therapists are so subjective, you know, the one that I like might not be the one that you like. You really have to do your own research and go out and, you know, uh, have some trial sessions, some chemistry sessions with a few to see whether they match up with you or vibe. You know, so due to reasons like this, I don't think it's appropriate for me to just recommend my therapist out like I recommend my hairdresser to you, for example. So yeah, I hope you can understand. Tonight's dinner is apparently according to Eric an improved formula of his carbonara. I'm excited! I'm going for an event right now. And I'm going to the gym later. I Zero cares about this wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> Today we are going to the Kylie Cosmetics pop up outside Iowa. Guys, so it's been two weeks since Pilsner's, which is uh, another type of skin boosters that uses trout's DNA instead of salmon. So this is how my skin texture looks like two weeks after but I must also highlight that this is my second Pilsner session. Um, so ideally you want to do three sessions in to enjoy the full benefits. So I'm really lo looking forward to my third session because it's been serving me really well so far. It has really greatly reduce the redness and the inflammation for my skin. I also noticed myself breaking out less. So yeah, I highly recommend if you have any good skin. Wow, I must say I'm a very blessed woman. Thank God my boyfriend loves to cook. Thank you. <laughs> After showering, very comfy. Closing off, very hard to stay awake. Delivery fees are $12, which is almost like the price of a box. So I'm gonna go. 0.5. <laughs> I just got attacked. <laughs> okay, this is how Gen Z take the food content, okay? Yeah, come to mine. No, I wanted to tell you a backstory of this uh, brownie. So we basically got the brownie complimentary because like we ordered some food and then it didn't come. This is what you call good service recovery guys bare minimal <laughs> okay guys today we are going for even more viewings we have done more viewings since the last video today we managed to secure three after the last video we actually did two more so we're gonna take you on the journey with us it's pretty exciting we're coming to a final decision really really soon i'm very excited to find out where i'm gonna be living next <laughs> at this point we don't know where yet My favorite unit, yes, you heard it. Can I show you the view? Look how quiet it is. It's huge office as well. Masters. A bit tight, but I. They, they said that we could put a king size still, just that it's a little bit tight. Honestly, I do not want it, okay? And then this our own suite. It's so nice. It actually looks pretty new. Apparently, they have renovated it four years ago. Okay, I really love the ceiling height, especially. This is a nice common room, very big. This is 
the yard. Meets room. Meets room. Amazing. Wash and dry it. My thoughts? I think we found our next home. <laughs> we are putting an offer for this house tonight. Okay, tonight. You hear me? Good location. My favorite gym is there. Um, ignore what he says. And then MRT is right at the doorstep. I like that it's an old um, establishment. It has a lot of culture. It doesn't look like Singapore. So yeah, we have found our future home. Definitely, there is a reason why the other units don't really work out. God was like, I have something better for you. This is a sauna room. <laughs> Hello, are we in the resort? <laughs> That's a 60 meter lap over there. Would you like to read by the waters? <laughs> wow. So nice. Open air. Yeah. Reminds me of Sentosa to be honest. Yeah. Wow. Dance and music room. This is the 60 meter lap pool. 50. Facilities wise, nowhere else can beat this. <laughs> yeah. Yep, so after viewing this last unit, we are very sure we are not viewing it anymore. We are very tired also. Uh, yeah, our stand is still the same. We have definitely found our future home. We are going to uh, put an offer tonight. I'm excited! Like, this is the first place that I'm actually really excited to move into. Like, previously I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna move into a unit that I'm just kind of like 80% sure. Uh, we're glad that we persisted and did more viewings. Uh, so yeah, now I'm very excited to move. <laughs> I will pack happily with a smile on my face. <laughs> Well, guys, since we are on the topic of Sheen Hall, right? Let me introduce you some very comfortable shoes and good quality ones. 
from Shein, okay? If you don't support Shein, please click away. Thank you. Okay, anyway, first pair, okay, is this pair of sandals that some of my girlfriends call it very ugly. La. They, they think it's very ugly. They always laugh at me when I wear it, but I love it. And I've already replaced it one time. Okay, this is my second pair because I wore the first pair to death. It lasted me for like two years. I even wore it to Ibiza, to Barcelona. So it's like good for, you know, European trips where you can, you have to walk long distances on those cobbled pathways. Even like if you go Pilates, right, you can wear your grip socks and then you wear this to class. You will look very fashionable, okay? Maybe some people think it's very ugly, but I think it's quite fashionable. Um, my friend actually took a video of it just now. <laughs> okay, next pair. This pair of wedges. It's about 2 inches tall. I take a yearly trip to Europe, like I said. And we need to walk long distances uh, on the cobbled floors, like, like I said. Okay, so that pair of sandals that I showed just now, that one is good for beach destinations. Like Bali, Ibiza, Mykonos, you know, this kind. But for like city areas like London, like Prague, this is pretty because it can go with dresses as well. Uh, not just casual, it can go with athleisure as well. So you want to wear it to the airport also can and it's very comfortable, very good quality and it looks pretty uh, when worn. Okay, so I wore this for so long, it still looks very new. Another pair, this one is a pair of heels that I have repurchased again and again and again and I own it in all colours. And I only wear this pair of heels to be honest. It's the perfect height for formal events. It's about 3 inches, okay? And it has half an inch of platform here. So total, you're only wearing about 2 inches height. I don't know about you, but I think kitten heels don't look very formal, okay? I like at least 3 inches and above. So this is perfect. Um, it has a ripped material, but it has some faux leather detailing here. So it makes it look very formal at the same time. Uh, yet casual, so it's very versatile, this one. Uh, sometimes I even wear my athleisure with this pair. Okay, so it comes in black. It comes with the denim blue. This is the denim blue one. Super pretty. I like to wear it with my denim dresses. Oops, my new ones are in the back, but you can see. These are super like easy to match. Okay, highly, highly recommend and they are not pricey at all. Get it. But this dress, I got it in white because I got it in black and the black one looks divine on me, okay? It's very flattering. So basically, it has a lace back detail like this. So it gives you like a little low back and then it has like a little revealing piece of lace. And also for the front piece, it's cow neck neckline and then it has a little bit of lace peeking out as well. So it doubles up as like a little bit of like a bralette exposing but it's not really your bralette. Okay, you can even wear this for graduation. Maybe it's a little bit short, I don't know. I will wear this. It comes in red as well. But red is not my colour, so I got it in black and white. Highly, highly recommend, especially if you're petite. Guys, can I tell you a funny story about Thea? If you think uh, dogs have no attitude, you're wrong. It's the first time I learned about it. Two nights ago, she suddenly became very distant from me. Like, she don't want to walk towards me, she only sticks to her dad. And I realised it's because I showed Hector too much attention. And then she got angry at me oh. for two days eh, by the way. It's only yesterday when she kind of like behaved normally again. And also I suspected that I gave her a, a treat and something was lodged in her throat or scratched her throat and then she got a sore throat. She completely did not bark or whine for two days. So she was distant A and B, she wasn't barking. And I got like super worried like, oh my god, I feel as a mom. But now she's okay already. <laughs> Of course, with Sheen, sometimes it's a hit or miss. Now, this is a potential fail for me. Like, one look at it. The shade of white A is a little bit too cool tone for me. And B, I wanted this to be like a mid drift off. Okay, it says that it's for uh, petites, but I think I have myself to blame because I ordered a petite size S when I'm actually a petite size XS usually or XXS. Okay, I'm just afraid that it will come too tight um, around the bust area. Sometimes petite pieces can be tight for me around the chest area. So I don't know, okay, but I'm sharing, you, sharing with you sometimes it's quite a bit of a miss, but I have mastered the art of shopping on Shein that um, the failure rate is very low now. <laughs> the next piece is a Korean line on Shein that I highly recommend called Daisy, D-A-Z-Y. I'm starting to get a little bit more blouses now. I don't know if it's because I am preparing for my mom era or I'm just getting older. I love wearing blouses. 
I think it's very chic with like it's not really high waisted I would say it's a pair of, it's a type of cutting of uh, shorts that I like to wear it with I like to wear this to my medical appointments casual appointments <laughs> you know it's just nice on days where you just want loose fit but be taken seriously so um, I also noticed that I don't like horizontal stripe design personally I like vertical and I don't really like blue I think blue don't really look nice on me so I'm very happy to have found a black and white one this is a linen pants. Oh my god, when I saw this dress, I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> because I think it's supposed to be the dupe for Kylie's dress. Okay, if you know, you know, that twisted on one shoulder um, dress. Sometimes, first look doesn't look very promising, but you need to try it on. It might surprise you. Oh my god, this pair of pants is very interesting because when I bought it, I was like, <gasps> This is the first low-waisted like work pants I saw on the sheet. Oh my god, I now looking at it, I'm afraid I got one size too big, but it's okay, it's better than getting one too small. So you can double as like um a going out pants as well. Last dress that I'm gonna be showing you. Got this because the bubble hem skirt thingy is very in now. <laughs> Okay, so we have just gotten our new address and we have also hired an interior stylist to advise us on what furniture to get, where to arrange them, stuff like this. So I'm really excited to show you our new home if you're keen where we'll be living next and how our new home is going to be looking like. Uh, stay tuned for next week's video. Uh, in the meantime, there's going to be a giveaway as usual. The mechanics are down in the description box down below. I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye!